in this question you are being asked to work out the total overhead that has been under or overabsorbed for a particular period. Now a question like this is very formulaic, therefore as long as you remember the formula for calculating the under and overabsorption, it's simply a case of plugging in the numbers that you've been provided with. The formula to calculate under or overabsorption requires a comparison of the actual overheads against the overheads that have been absorbed. The overheads absorbed can be calculated by taking the actual level of activity multiplied by the overhead absorption rate or the OAR. Let's look at the information that's provided in this question. We can see that the very first sentence reveals the overhead absorption rate of £3.50 per machine hour. So let's slot that into our equation. And this is based on 32,000 budgeted machine hours for the period. We're also told that the actual total overhead expenditure amounted to 108,875. Again, we can take this as the actual overheads in our equation. Next, we're told that 30,000 machine hours were recorded on actual production. This would be the actual level of activity because the OAR has been calculated using machine hours. So 30,000 is our actual level of activity. To get the overheads absorbed, we simply multiply the actual level of activity by the OAR to give us 105,000. Now it's simply a case of comparing the actual overheads against the overheads absorbed. We can see that the actual overheads are higher than the overhead that has been absorbed, implying that this is an underabsorption for the difference between these amounts, which is 3,875. Looking at the options provided, that is option D or the last option in this particular question.